Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Well, it's time to talk about my upcoming vlogs for the next few months, since it's already almost mid-October. And at this point of the year, I pretty much already roughly know what I'm going to be YouTubing about for the next few months. And with that being said... I might as well just go ahead and talk to you guys about the uh, upcoming YouTube videos I have. Now, obviously, I don't know the exact dates. Um, the problem with being a YouTuber in the sense... Well, I, how should I put this? The problem with me planning things out sometimes is I know exactly what I'm going to do. But sometimes I don't always know when I'm going to be able to go. And that's not always a good thing. Because sometimes I'm really bad about saying, Oh yeah, I'm going to go on uh, YouTube such and such thing on this particular day. And then something ends up happening. Like for example, last week I said I was going to vlog Red River Gorge. But I didn't stop and think about the fact that, first of all, it's going to be an all-day thing, which I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. And then I didn't anticipate about being at the arcade in the morning on a day off, when, especially when I've already worked five days in a row. I'm just like, mm, no. And it's exhausting working a bunch of 10-hour days in a row. It really is. Especially when you're overweight, which I'm working on that. I mean, today I did cheat a bit, but for the most part, I'm very good about it. Like, for the most part, I have cut out my soda intake. I actually had no soda today whatsoever. I'm finally drinking a water. <laughs> finally. I, I drank a coffee this morning, a lemonade, a milkshake. Yes, I did actually cheat and have a milkshake. And now I'm having a water. But anyway, so as of right now, I'm planning on YouTubing Haunt, like the nighttime version. I've never done that before from my YouTube channel on Saturday night. Now, I will let you guys know in advance that day happens to be Dia Latino at the Ark Encounter. Dia Latino is a major Hispanic day for the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum for that matter. It, Dia Latino starts at the Ark Encounter on Saturday and then ends with the Creation Museum on Sunday. There's going to be a lot of Hispanics there and there's also going to be some uh, interpreters there for the Hispanics. Now we're expecting several thousand people there. Mostly going to be ex Hispanics and it's the most cash uh, heavy um, day of the year for us is what I've been told. So... I am going to attempt to go to bed early on Friday because I do want to make sure I'm well rested on Saturday, especially if I'm going to be working a 10 plus hour day and then turn around and drive all the way from Williamstown all the way up to Mason, Ohio, which is an extremely long drive right after a 10 hour plus day and go walk around a park for about two hours. <laughs> At night, and then drive over to my brother's house afterwards. So, just keep that in the back of your mind. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you take a Saturday off? The odds of me getting a Saturday off right now are extremely low. Just because of the fact that it's still relatively busy. And this is the Ark Encounter. The Ark Encounter is the number one tourist attraction in Kentucky. The odds of me getting a Saturday off right now, mm-mm. Maybe in November... Definitely January and February, but right now, no, definitely not. Which I know sucks because of the fact that Halloween haunts only going on Fridays and Saturdays. I would rather go on a Saturday when I know I can sleep in on a Sunday, especially this coming Sunday when I'm off. I know the Ark Encounter needs help, but I'm also working a ton of days in a row next week, as well as when am I ever going to get a Sunday off this month and get a chance to go on YouTube this and I know my work might be like, oh, we understand where you're coming from up to a point, but really, like, isn't your job a little more important? It's like, it depends. <laughs> my job is extremely important. 
but sometimes you need to take care of yourself, too. I mean, that's what I'm trying to get at. Next Tuesday, I'm more than likely going to be here at the house YouTubing. I don't have anything going on, nor do I plan on doing anything that day. I'd be shocked if Tristan is even off and we could do anything because of the fact that by then I will actually have money. So, yeah, potentially I could go into YouTube next Tuesday out in public, but I really don't have anything, you know, pressing that I have to go and do. So I figured, well, that'd be a good day to just kind of hang around here and do some YouTube videos and all that fun stuff. Besides, I want to be well rested for the long work week. So, as far as, like, do I have anything major after Saturday to YouTube? No, 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 not really. So, come late November, though, late November is right around the time that Christmas starts up, because I personally am, you know, personally being a Christian, believe that it's not appropriate to start celebrating Christmas until Black Friday. So, celebrate Thanksgiving first. Then Christmas. Because a lot of people have this really bad habit. I'm not saying that any of you specifically watching it. Just saying in general, a lot of people have a very bad habit of stuffing their face with the turkey dinner. While even watching the football game. And then they'll run out the door and go shop you know, their, for their Black Friday stuff. Or they'll immediately get on their electronic devices of any sort and start uh, looking for um, something to get for Black Friday. Or they'll wait till Cyber Monday, the following Monday, and uh, get something then. So, And, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And I'm honestly extremely happy a lot more stores are closing on Thanksgiving Day because the idea of stores opening at 6 o'clock and the evening on Thanksgiving Day is ridiculous. I just I cannot stand the fact that people are were even doing that. I personally strongly believe that people should be spending all of Thanksgiving at home, their families, not rushing through the meal. There's nothing wrong with watching football on Thanksgiving. I'm not against that whatsoever. What I have a problem with is people rushing out the door to go and spend money when we should be sitting at home being thankful for what we have. Go and be unthankful the next day. <laughs> Black Friday, it's okay, but on Thanksgiving Day, no. <laughs> How else can I put it? So, with that being said, uh, Winterfest starts on Black Friday this year. I already know for a fact that I'm working on Black Friday. Uh, this year um, at the Ark. It's actually one of our busiest days at the Ark, which I know it's crazy, I guess, because a lot of people uh, want to take that opportunity to go and see the Christmas lights as soon as they start um, turning on. I believe that's the very first day of Christmas time at the Ark. So I expect a lot of people that night. And I think that's the very first night that we're actually open later. So the odds of me going anywhere that night are extremely low. Honestly, as soon as Christmas time starts up, I would not be surprised by any means if I'm working from 8.30, or I'm like even scheduled from 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. and then working an additional half an hour after that. <sighs> I know, it's going to be crazy. Just imagine when I'm working on a Sunday and I'm probably either working... 1 to 9.30 or um, 12.30 to 9.30. It's going to be crazy. That's going to be probably the most insane hours I'm ever going to work. And the probably the busiest week of the uh, year. And this is just in general is Christmas week, which is why you'll notice that I don't know about all YouTubers, but at least me. In the five years that you guys have watched me, I never YouTube the week of Christmas. And if I do, it's going to be at home. And that's it. <laughs> and this year I'm planning on working six days in a row. Because 
of the fact that it's going to be my last opportunity to really work some decent hours before uh, we start closing partially during for the winter and then reopen fully for um, the uh, spring. So we're going to be extremely slow come January 1st or December 31st for that matter. It's going to be interesting. I just pray and hope that my boss will keep me around while who knows how many people are either going to be laid off or kept around, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll be one of the fortunate ones that gets to stay at the Ark. Because my boss has been talking about not letting me go. He says, I don't foresee going, uh, leaving here anytime soon. He, in fact, he's even talking about keeping me around for projects. So, you know, only God knows what's going to happen in the future. But he knows it's coming, and he also knows I want to go to to Canada for Christmas as well. Of course, that would mean I would have to get fully vaccinated to go. And I'm not necessarily against the vaccine, but I'm not completely for it. But that's another story for another time. But as far as like what I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna be YouTubing the very first official week of the Christmas season, I would like to go on YouTube Winterfest first, just because I didn't get to go last year. It was completely shut down due to the pandemic. Kings Island barely even made it through last year. I don't even remember when Kings Island closed. I think it closed in um, early November last year. Now, obviously... I did not go to Kings Island last year. You never saw a single Kings Island vlog. In fact, this has been my first year since 2019 that I've been. So it's kind of been nice. And that's why I didn't mind buying the souvenir cup, bottle, whatever. Because I already knew for a fact that I was going to be going quite a bit this year. And I have actually gone quite a bit this year. I've gone at least 10 times, if not more. And I'm still planning on going back quite a few times over the next couple of months that they're open, so I still got a chance to go. I'm going to definitely make it, or get my one of these worth out of that cup, that's for sure. <laughs> the very first week that Winterfest is running, I think that'd be the very first one I want to go see. And, you know, as I said, it's just because I didn't get to go last year, and it's honestly one of my favorites ever. It's one of my the best Christmas events I've ever seen, period. And as I said on my Facebook page, I am planning and hoping to go opening weekend. Whether I go after work on Saturday, which I keep forgetting we're open late that day, so it wouldn't work that day. <laughs> it would have to be on the Sunday if I get if um I'm off. I I almost forgot for a second that we are going to be open later, so. Now I would have to go on a day off. That's why I'll... Once we start going to longer hours, I will have to start YouTubing these things once a week. That's why I have one plan, once a week. And I don't know if I'm going to be working on the Sunday. I mean, it'll be the very first weekend of Christmas time, so there's a high chance that I will be working that particular Sunday. So, I guess we'll see in advance. Uh, I know for a fact that the hours for Christmas time are a little strange at first. And then the closer we get to Christmas itself, the more we add on. And I also know for a fact that I believe the Monday and the Tuesday, there at first, there is no Christmas time at all. If worst comes to worst, I could always YouTube... The Festival of Lights hosted by PNC at the Cincinnati Zoo. My very first week because that is a nightly event. And it doesn't matter, you know, what day of the uh, week it is. The Festival of Lights, I believe, starts at 4 or 5 or something like that. And it ends at 9 o'clock at night. I already looked at the hours in advance because Kay was supposed to come in December. And now she's not coming because of the fact that I'm stuck with my parents trying to save up money and I wouldn't be able to afford to have her down. So that's the reason why she's coming down next September instead. Which my parents were okay with that. Plus, the odds of me getting the time off when 
or well, getting the time off next September or uh, arranging rearranging my schedule so I could get out like five thirty or so every single day that week would be a lot higher because of the fact that we're going to be relatively slow anyway. As long as she comes before October, I would say like right after 40 days and 40 nights next year because they already made it official it's going to come back again next year. But before October, that way it doesn't interfere with the pastors conference and it doesn't interfere with behind the scenes, it doesn't interfere with the Latino. <laughs> uh, I had a former roommate that calls October Deftober at the Ark Encounter. I can believe it. October is a pretty rough month for the of the Ark and the Creation Museum for that matter. And it's pretty busy. Uh, fall break is apparently a thing here. Where I'm from? Mm-mm. Nope, not in Florida. You got a whole week off for Thanksgiving if you're a college student. You only got a couple of days off and that's it. There is no fall break whatsoever. That was your fall break. <laughs> it was your fall break and Thanksgiving break mixed together. But up here, apparently, there's a fall break and there's a Thanksgiving break. I'm like, okay, then. That's weird. So, a bunch of kids are getting off the a week in October, and then they're turning around in late November, and they're getting um, a couple of days off for Thanksgiving, and then about a month later, they're getting two weeks off for Christmas. I'm just like, oh, my. I'm like, yeah, interesting. I was never that fortunate in college, unfortunately. Well, like I said, unfortunately twice, didn't I? So you already know that I want to vlog the Festival of Lights. Whether I do that first or whether I do winter time, or, oh, winter fest, I should say first, is beyond me. And then I think I will do the Ark Encounters Christmas time next. Because... I've done a YouTube video on this. The Ark Encounter is a cool Christmas event. I like the free meal idea a lot. I think that's really cool. If you uh, buy a mission to the Ark Encounter, you get the free meal, blah, blah, blah. And the Ark is super pretty at night and during Christmas time. However, though, Christmas time does not compare to Christmas Town at the Creation Museum. Christmas Town to me is a lot better. And I want to improve upon Christmas Town this year. So last year I accidentally vlogged it with an action camera. <laughs> or with my action camera. So my YouTube my camera does have that option. So I'm going to go back again this year. And I'm going to use it with my regular camera. So it'll be a lot better. And this will be the updated version. And now you're going to see both Christmas events from an AIG employee's perspective as well. I still consider vlogging outside the Ark and a creation museum okay. I, I know for a fact I can't say no to that. As long as I'm not filming any of the exhibits, the conference speakers, or anything like that. I knew I could get away with vlogging like the concerts. Just because it's a concert. I mean, what are they going to say about that? I don't personally think that there's a reason for me to go in on a separate day and film Steve Hessen's Southern Salvation singing again. That was cool, but I wouldn't go and do it again. If I go and see them this time, like perform for Christmas, it would be something I would do on my own. But really, I go to the Ark at Christmas just to see the lights. And the best part about this year is I get to see the lights every night. Because I'm going to be working there. So I get to see the lights every night as an employee. Then I'm going to go back another night and go and YouTube it as a YouTuber. So it's kind of cool like that. I don't really no 100% other than that like after Christmas time which will be like the grand finale of all my Christmas stuff if there's like anything that I don't know about that's coming to uh, or that's in the area offhand that I've never seen before or heard of 
I might look it up, you know, when the time comes. Is there anything, like, in the greater Cincinnati area that I can go on YouTube for you guys? Will I have the time for it? I mean, with only one day off a week. Especially as I get closer to Christmas, it's going to get a lot easier. That's another reason why I'm doing Christmas time in Christmas Town closer to Christmas. That way I can go on, like, say, for example, a Tuesday or a Wednesday or even a Thursday for that matter. And it would be at night, so I still have most of the day to rest at home. And then I would go out there that night for a couple of hours and go and YouTube the lights. Now, to me, that's worth it. And by that point, I'll be working a lot more, so I'll be able to afford it. Right now, yes, I am working quite a bit, but I'm also paying off a lot of my debt. I also know in a couple of months that I will be a lot closer to paying off my debt, if not already done paying off my debt, that I will be able to afford to do that kind of stuff. And with only working, or with only having one day off a week, as you know, much as I'm going to tell myself, and eh, they got to stay home today. I don't mind going out just for a couple of hours. It's like, well, Christmas is only a one time a year thing. Just like, I mean, there's a difference here between Tristan and a bunch of my coworkers are going to play tennis tonight. But this is something they do once a week. It's not like I'm not going to get another opportunity versus when am I ever going to get an opportunity to go on YouTube the Christmas lights. Just like. I'm telling myself even on a Saturday, this might be my one only opportunity this year to go on YouTube Haunt, and then I might not get another opportunity for another year. And that's kind of why I think the way I do. So with that being said, that's kind of what all my YouTube videos going on for the year. As far as what's going to happen in January, I am actually very tempted this December to... Uh, get a um, zoo pass, an annual pass so I can go to the zoo whenever I want. And that would be something I would kind of do for fun with my uh, time off in January. I was thinking about working out with my dad when uh, we're closed. And also just kind of hanging around here. Um, I'm trying to think here. But, oh, well, I, I had... I, Something was in my mind, but it's gone now. As you guys also know, come February, I'm going to be in Central Florida, so I will do my whole Central Florida vlog series for 2022, starting on February 22nd. I've already made arrangements with my good friend Raphael to be staying at his place the entire time I'm there. So here's how it's going to go. So you guys can kind of already know what, what's going to go on in advance. I'm going to fly out February 22nd. I don't know who's going to take me to the airport. That's a Tuesday. It might be Tristan because that is a uh, day we're closed. So Tristan might be nice enough to drive me to the airport and see me off. It might be my parents. If my brother and I are back together at that point, like living together, then it would be him. I hate to take an Uber, but if I have to, I have to. But I prefer not to. I could also technically ask um, Alan or Heather, because I'm assuming that they'll be around if they are around at that time. Who knows? They might be on a ton of vacations at that point. They might be with their parents. I don't know. But I'm going to get there probably sometime that night. Turn... I know there's like a lot of glare there. That's kind of why I've had the camera pointing the other way, but my hand was getting so tired. Yeah, this is not working. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just have to put up with it a little longer. But I was uh, definitely strongly considering, you know, since I'm flying out there, I believe Saturday mid-afternoon and getting... And I would be there Saturday evening. So TJ technically has bowling that night. TJ was talking about skipping bowling. I was like, well, I can just stay over, do something with Raphael. So I was going to have like dinner with him that day. Um, as of right now, the plan for the Wednesday is to go with Kay and TJ out to Dave and Buster's in Orlando. 
as far as what we're doing for dinner that day, or lunch for that matter, I think we were talking about going to Fuddruckers or something, or... I don't remember exactly. We had it all planned out, and then I forgot. All I know was we have something planned, but we're definitely doing Dave and Buster's that day. Thursday, we don't really have anything going on. We're going to Cypress Lanes that afternoon. That's about it. Friday, we're going to Legoland. I still want to go to the Orlando and Farmer meetup. I'm still waiting on those tickets to come available so I can buy them. Even if I have to put on my credit card. So I really, really, really want to go. <laughs> this is something I've been just dying to do, is go to an Orlando and Farmer meetup. That would be so exciting. But as of right now, yes, I am going to be going to Legoland on the Friday with TJ and Kay. And probably having dinner in that area. Saturday, we are planning on going off to Universal for the day. So that would be my first time... On Jurassic World Velocicoaster. I do want to be able to fit on that for sure. Especially Hagrid since I have not rode that in two years. Because I was too big to ride it this year. Well hold on. I shouldn't say two years. What am I saying? It wasn't. I moved in 2019. I never got a chance to ride 2019. I haven't rode it in a year. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. I haven't rode. What is it? Mystic Timbers in two years. Because I literally. Wrote it a couple of months after I moved here. So. And that was the first time I ever rode the Beast too. But I've also rode the Beast. A couple of times. Like I rode it. When I took my brother to Kings Island last. For his first time. And. I almost. Uh, I thought I was going to lose my glasses. It was so scary. <laughs> I haven't even attempted to ride the Beast since. Because if I can't fit on. The racer, then I obviously can't fit on the beast since they have different as the same seat design. Now I'm just want to try and lose weight so that I can fit on these roller coasters again. Especially with uh, me going to Kings Island on Saturday, I guess we'll see how I do with weight uh, losing weight. I'm mostly going just to go YouTube though, not to go ride on anything, and I don't expect to be able to ride on anything anyway, just because it's gonna be dark and super busy it's gonna be interesting that's all i know and then after uh saturday sunday is uh tj's birthday so that's the day we're going to oh hold on let me think about that no tj's birthday is on monday my bad so on the sunday is the day that i was thinking about doing like hollywood studios and Animal Kingdom, all that fun stuff. And then Monday, finally, uh, my last real Disney day, we were going to do Magic Kingdom and Epcot and have dinner at Ohana. With conclusion, or of our, my trip concluding on Tuesday with Disney Springs and Miniature Golf. That's just something I have to do in Central Florida every year is go and play miniature golf at one of the uh, Disney courses. It's just always a lot of fun. But those my upcoming vlogs. All the way from Saturday until then. I'm always looking for in my Central Florida vlogs every single year. It's, you know, always a very exciting time, that's for sure. But... I will see you guys in the next vlog, which I believe should be on Thursday. I'm going to be talking about whether the Food and Wine Festival is worth it or not. Like, is it worth, you know, your money and all that? So, until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ strengthens you. Have a great night. Peace out.